Hey everybody, we've had absolutely zero buyer's regret with the purchase of our Roomba and Brava iRobot products. I'm going to say that these things have been absolutely wonderful, but there have been some issues along the way with maintenance and we've had to make some repairs. And this can be expected on devices used almost every single day. And if you do your preventative maintenance, you could reduce your intervals for failure. But on these devices rolling around on the floor, you're going to wear out the tires eventually. And what we got here is tires with tread almost completely gone. I meant to do this sooner, but I didn't have time. And now we're getting to it. So we're going to replace the tires on these wheels. We look at the other side here and we see it's just as bad as one would expect. And we're just going to put new tires on the existing wheels, do some preventative maintenance inside. And I have a maintenance tip at the end of the video that I'm going to include. Now, while you don't have to, I don't know about you, but I don't want to work on a disgusting vacuum cleaner. So now would be a good time to do the preventative maintenance and cleanup of this unit while we're taking it apart. Link in the top right corner for disassembling this for preventative maintenance. And we'll get underway. And I picked up a two-tire replacement kit on Amazon for this job. It set me back less than $10. And all these parts have been cleaned as shown in the maintenance video. But take a look at these rollers right here because these are going to be cleaned and put back in later. And they're going to clean up like new. The main unit was cleaned up as part of the maintenance procedure so it's no longer nasty to work on. All around here, all the hair cleaned out, vacuumed out. A much nicer working environment. Some units have a removable battery right over here with these two screws, but this one does not. The battery is under the cover. If you chose to remove all these pieces as part of the maintenance procedure, that's great. However, if you choose not to, you still have to remove this one right over here. Oddly enough, I found that this screw is loose, so they should all be checked during maintenance procedures. We'll be using various size Phillips screwdrivers to conduct our task today. Starting with these screws right here to remove this outer shell. It's not symmetrical. There's one screw on this side. There are two screws up front just behind that swiveling wheel. And then on this side, on both sides of this sensor, there are two more screws to remove. And that's it. The whole panel should just lift up. Those three screws should remain in the cover, but be careful just in case they fall out. It comes as no surprise, but the inside of this unit is filthy. There's about half a dog stuffed in here. So as we go around, we can see, especially in this area, completely impacted with hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to vacuum this out, but I want to remove the battery first. So I push this tab to lift it up, slide it out, and that's it. Here's what the tab looks like without the battery in front of it. The wheel packs are spring loaded and the mark left and right, but we'll only be removing one at a time and it'd be impossible to put one of them in backwards. This screw right here will be loosened. You don't have to turn it all the way just until you see the threads. It doesn't have to come out just far enough that the wheel could be removed. Second screw here will be loosened until you're able to lift the wheel assembly up and out of the unit. If not, give it a couple more turns. But here it is completely removed. We see the two screws still in the post. And under everything we remove, of course, we're going to find more dust and hair to vacuum out. So we'll draw attention now to the wheel and the new tires, which we'll take out of the bag. We'll have a look at them. And the tread looks really nice on these new tires compared to the uh, old ones that are worn down, obviously. And here's the inner track that fits in the groove of the wheel. Using a small flathead, I'm attempting to pry up delicately the old tire so I could get under there and lift it up. We could see the track as well as on the original tire, it went through the wheel and was held down. We're not going to be doing this, but we do need to detach it. So I'm prying it up enough to detach it so I could get under there. And now the screwdriver is through so I could lift it. And now pull it away from the wheel. Eventually I'll get to one of those spots that where it's held inside and I just pull and snap it and detach it. Gently rotating the motor to expose more wheel. I repeat the same process. Snap it and detach it. Rotate the wheel and do this over and over again until the tire is removed from the wheel. And now the tire is removed. 
Wanted to take a minute and contrast the difference between the old tire and the new tire before I installed it. Look at that. Look at the difference there. That's just unbelievable. You wonder why your Roomba's getting stuck. This may be the reason. I saw a lot of different dirt, dust, and hair accumulated within the wheel unit, so I wanted to take this opportunity to vacuum all that stuff out. Because, again, it's not often you get in here. You might as well clean this up. The new tire is easy to install. It goes right over the wheel. I just rotate the wheel as I install a section of it on so I'm able to expose more wheel up top where I could flip the rest of the tire over like so. And then I just want to make sure that that inner notch that we saw earlier is centered and locked inside the wheel. And I'm snapping that into place now so that it should look uniform around the wheel. And I'm snapping more in and snap that last piece in. And now we can see that everything's flush and is correctly installed. Now check from the top and make sure that everything's uniform as I rotate the wheel and it looks good. Then I check from the opposite side and make sure that everything is seated in and it is. So this wheel is now perfectly installed. The whole wheel assembly is then loaded back in. And both of the screws are then screwed back in but just to remove the slack. So I'm starting on this screw first. And then I'm going to screw in the outer screw. And when all the slack is removed, I will just give each screw the slightest snug down. Remember, we're screwing into plastic. We don't want to break it. Check the spring action, and the installation is completed. Once completed, the process will be repeated all over again on the other side, exactly as it was on the first side. I just breeze through it here in the video right quick. I'm not going to make everybody watch it twice. I do check to make sure that the spring loading mechanism works and the wheel isn't binding. At this point, I slide the battery into the track and lock it into place. I had noticed that the inside of the bottom cover was really nasty, so I wanted to hit it with the vacuum cleaner. But I'll tell you that moisture and dirt had accumulated in here to the point where the vacuum cleaner removed hair but little else. So I found that I was going to have to wash it with brush and soap and what have you, get this back to clean. So after nylon brush and soap, it cleaned up like new. I'll just have to make sure that it's dry before I put it back in, but this is what we're looking at. It looks like a brand new plastic piece now. The piece now dried, I just lay it right over into position, making sure none of those three screws fall out. It should be perfectly aligned and seats perfectly into place. I now screw in the screws. I start with that one on the left, then this one on the right forward of the sensor. This is followed by the two removable screws up front near the swiveling wheel. And finally, this screw over here, rear of the sensor. Once this screw is seated, I could go around and very gently snug each one of these screws, not too hard. Remember, we snug it into plastic, and that's it. These are the same rollers with the minor damage that you saw in the beginning of the video before I had cleaned them and now they look new. And all I did was wrap them in a paper towel and I sprayed the paper towel with Goo Gone, let them sit there for like 10 minutes and then scrubbed them with an old toothbrush. Sometimes they're so built up with dirt they look like they're worn down but you find out when they're clean they're actually not. Everything's cleaned up, everything's reassembled. We have a complete maintenance done, new wheels on here. Everything's looking good. Now it's time to test it out. I hope you found this video on the tire replacement on the Roomba enjoyable, entertaining, and informative. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot when you do. And hit that subscribe button for more videos like this when they come out. When the next video in this series comes out, the link will be posted in the top right corner. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Would you like to reply? <laughs>